Okay, so uh, welcome to Anna Landsberger uh, Youth Center in Berlin, where I have two fine gentlemen from a band called Kumpania Algarasa with me. Gentlemen, first of all, welcome to Berlin. And let's start all the way back when the band was founded in 2004 in Sintra, Portugal. How did it all come together in the beginning? Uh, hello. Uh, we got together because we were playing uh, this kind of acoustic instruments, brass, etc. And we wanted to make uh, street music, basking, uh, and go into this more uh, world music kind of stuff. We were all coming from different backgrounds, uh, jazz, rock, blah, blah, blah. And uh, we, we got together and slowly started to build up this, uh, this identity and um, uh, work with this. Okay, uh, your music has been described as furious Balkan ska rock reggae. Where do all these influ influences come from? Uh, hello, it's from the world. We we started in the street playing music. Then we gather. We meet a lot of different musicians and making exchanges in music, like as you say. I forgot the word, but when we exchanged knowledge and then we start to to absorb that kind of uh, more the Balkan language start to, to be like more a, a challenge as well for the musician when the, the songs are really some of them really difficult you get more adrenaline playing them so we start yeah, the, this kind of voyage of trip around music, world music, and yeah, and it's an opportunity to to have uh, not one just identity. You can identify yourself with the world you live in, and so you can make lots of different things in music. That if we have like just one style, we we will be stuck to one thing. This way, we can always do something different. We have that uh, possibility, so it's very free. We are like free in, in the music. So we don't have like oh yeah, we don't make it like pure fado. Like Francisco, he, he said because we don't have a Portuguese guitar, guitar and the, the, that formation. We adapt to make like a fusion. It's big uh, as well, you can say big responsibility, but it's not our responsibility because we are maybe crazy band for, <laughs> we don't see, like, see us like very serious musicians that do it very professionally, like the style of father. We are like free music, we can mix everything and we try to do it good or in a happy way, so because father has a root of sadness as well, because it's for this old society that was like that, the way of thinking, because if, if it's older of like religious old music for the, it's every every musician has his own way, you know. So we don't we have ours, and it's we try to keep it the most free. I think also um, Fado and also now we have also Cantal and Chan is a uh, type of singing in Portugal is uh, became um, world heritage and uh, I think it's happening with the most of uh, traditional styles is crossing is fusioning with the electronics with everything so more and more is uh, more easy to get out of the, um, the the traditional way and mix with everything we want. So we mix with uh, this furious brass, etc., and something like this. It's the do-it-yourself mentality means to you as a band. Sorry. Uh, the mentality of uh, do-it-yourself, like publish your own records and uh, do your own thing. How much does that mean to you that you are not depending on a big record company and so on? 
Yeah, it's um, we we follow this path. We uh, edit our own records. We um, we had uh, the one album was um, we made it through a crowdfunding platform. We tried to organize a lot of our own events. Uh, we work also with different projects. Um, so it's not easy to self uh, make it, but uh, it's um, it's also good. And uh, in these days, more and more uh, people are self uh, organizing and uh, doing what uh, what they so, need. But but it's mainly about this: is freedom. You have to so you 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 have to live free, so you don't get caught in the in the system. This kind of do-it-yourself is one way because if you have an, um, like a machine that's pressing us to do something, we will not. We we can do it, but maybe we start not being ourselves. So we, this way we can always be ourselves and bet on ourselves, not being part of the game. Like in, we are not. We are free. You know. So, yeah, it's our the since the beginning is like what we try to keep it this way, so we do, we can be anywhere as well, and no with no problems of conscience. <laughs> we, have, we have no uh, anchors. You know, we try to yeah, but it's not easy. <laughs> it's a fight. And you have played in streets, clubs and festivals. Uh, is the live experience different depending on a venue for you? Or how do you feel about, the, for example, the leap from a street gig to a big festival is quite big? How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's uh, very different, <coughs> I think, for us. But, uh, well, in one way we will play and we will do our best and uh, but it's completely different to play on street gig we have um, direct contact with the people very close also normally we have um, uh, also different repertoire for example um, different stuff we do with the audience and on the st on the stage uh, it's it's different it's, it's um, uh, the audience is more not so close but also you are creating a bigger magic let's say and um, anyway in both both kind of gigs street gigs wedding gig stage gig it's always uh, some kind of a uh, little bit of rush and uh, also we all, always want to try take enjoyment out of it so is it a small gig a wedding with 50 people or a festival 10,000 we do our best and have a great party with 50 people or with 10,000 that's what we try. Something like that. No, it's we have been working in the new album, so we try to make a, one or two surprises of new songs and the new arrangements we've been making through this time. So and the usually part uh, part of the the thing is the party. We always want to to be in a party. So we. We make a party to be in, <laughs> so, or we try to hope to to help in the in the party we are in. So it's our duty to make something. Most of the thing is improvised because we always have new audiences, new persons you can see in the, in the audience. So you can make something out of that a new a new moment in in our life. It's, Okay, and uh, this summer touring is a big part of your summer plans. So, how is the touring life with uh, band this big? With that band this big? Oh, it's uh, complicated, but we are used to it. Or so 
but we are going like Belgium, Coco Pelli Festival, Iboga. We, we have, sometimes we have to go in a van or two, and argue a lot, fight a lot. We just <laughs> smash each other like, pff, pff, until I live, I survive. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, but it's, it's uh, sometimes it's, it's always good, but sometimes you get more tired, depends of the, you know, it's too much. We are not so much, but ten, eight people, sometimes maybe one or two more for technicians, but but it's peacefully and yeah, it's adventure, but people, we like nature, stop and go swimming, then go drink some beers, then go swim again, then play yeah. music, and then a, drink a, a lot. <laughs> we have a great crew now, it's a real yeah. pleasure to travel with the guys and we meet incredible people on the road, the gigs, uh, it's great. It's it's a pleasure to you know, have new ideas because we give a right to somebody that knows to sing <laughs> something and we oh let's make a song together and something always can happen it's very it's good it's good okay and uh, the local business having arrived just today in Berlin how familiar are you with the city and how do you like Berlin yeah we love it. Yeah. Yeah, we like very much. We've been already three times, I think. Also, we are uh, big friends with um, people here from Rotterdam and um, a lot of uh, our friends and organizations we are working with are involved with this uh, Human Music for Human Rights project that is behind this um, Shake Your Breath festival. So it's very interesting experience. Also, it's like meeting the big family again is great it's it's a pleasure beer is great <laughs> beer is big <laughs> that's, that's it okay and lastly uh, you are doing uh, two shows here in Berlin tomorrow on 6th of May and one show on the 7th what are your expectations for those shows on the second show, we will be a little bit more <laughs> tired and drank, maybe. No, I'm joking. Uh, it, I think it will be great. The first will be here in Niga. Yeah. So I think it's a great space, open area, uh, um, diverse crowd. This will be good. Also play with all our friends and uh, bands from Italy and people from Serbia all the places and um, then in the night we will be in SO 36. Uh, 36. SO 36 this we already know it's famous club underground old school place so we're gonna love it for sure the seventh and on Sunday it will be in Berlin a, yes uh, it will be it's in a different a different spot uh, sorry he, <laughs> you can all, always check our Facebook, uh, all the info is there, Company Al Gazar, and uh, yeah, but we are, uh, we can't wait to, to rock these shows, it's going to be great. Alright, so uh, we're going to see you tomorrow on SO36 uh, then, and thank you very much guys, and uh, you know, break a leg. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>